All right, get ready. You're about to see an amazing strategy that will get you a ton of leads for your real estate investing business. And the great thing is very few, if not no investors at all are currently doing it. And that is using YouTube. YouTube. You, that was fantastic. That was really good. YouTube is the second largest search engine on planet Earth. That's right. And it's owned by the first largest, Google. So you get two for one. You get a twofer with YouTube. Right, because you not only get leads directly through YouTube, but you also get them because when you're on YouTube, you show up at the top of Google. Now, how do you do that? How do you make that happen? Well, first of all, you might be saying, me, little old me, I'm gonna be found on YouTube? Who cares about me? Well, listen, if this guy can get to the top of YouTube, I think you can. Get back, serious business folks, serious business. All right, what I love about YouTube is it's a really easy strategy to get up and running. Now there are, there are more advanced strategies that we're gonna show you later on in some of the supplemental information that we provide, but right now I wanna break it down to just something really, really simple, and it's just a couple of easy steps, I don't know, six, seven, eight easy steps to get your YouTube game up and running and working for you and generating you some leads. So step number one, is setting up a YouTube account. Now it's free. That's the beautiful thing about it. You yep. can't you can't beat free. So go and set up a YouTube account if you don't already have one. And then step two is we need to get some things together that we're gonna be using to one film our videos, okay, and help us film our videos. And and then we're gonna go through some some steps and some processes of how to get that information or those those videos up and load it up into YouTube and optimize the right way. So let's start with just uh, some of the, some of the uh, technology or systems that we're going to use. The first thing is I want you to go to Google and Google free teleprompter software for Mac or free teleprompter software for your PC. All right, and you're going to find a bunch of different things. I use Aquaprompt for my Mac and uh, very, very happy with that um, and currently it's free. So. Uh, download that teleprompting software. And what that will essentially do is we also have some scripts that we're gonna be providing to you. Now you can modify the script, you can write your own script, you can change it in any way, make it more localized and personalized about you and your business. Um, and we provide a couple different scripts for uh, attracting motivated sellers, attracting cash buyers and so on. Take one of those scripts, modify it, and then put it in your teleprompting software. And what that'll essentially do is turn your PC or your Macintosh into a teleprompter, right? So right now, when you see us talking, okay, and we're looking all smooth and suave, and, and I'm much better looking, but that's okay, on camera. It's very racist. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, you know, when you see us, it's polished, right? Yes. Okay, half the time, we're reading from a teleprompter, right? That's the secret sauce <laughs> behind the scenes, all right? And, that, and that's what you're gonna do, essentially. So first, step one, turn your Mac or your PC into a teleprompter. Step number two is you need some sort of recording device. You can use uh, a camcorder if you have one. You can use something called a Flip HD as uh, uh, my sexy assistant D here will show you. Okay, and what this essentially does is why they call it a flip is this little USB drive flips out of the side of it to make it really easy after you record your video to plug it in to your computer and download the video file and get it onto your desktop. Okay, one of these bad boys costs what? $99. 99 bucks. You can buy them used. There's cheap versions where you don't have to actually get the name brand. Uh, but you're going to need something, and you can even use your iPhone or, or cell phone can if you I have a smartphone. You can hold it. You can have it. Um, not really have it. I need it back. Yeah. But when you film with it, the thing that's really important is you'll just put it right above your laptop. Yeah. Prop it up right on up some here. books or something. Um, and make sure so that when you're reading off your teleprompter script, it looks like you're looking at them. Not like you're looking. Yeah. So like right now, for instance, you would here step over there, show them how you would actually be. Like put oh. that up there. And, no, step around. There you go. Put it up there, right there. And I always if stand you were, there. If you were working my teleprompter right now, and I was sitting here talking to you and reading to the camera, you'd be running the teleprompter, and I would just be flowing and talking, saying my script, and before you know it, you're done. Right? It's as easy as that. You, you, and the good news is you can screw stuff up with video. You don't have to nail it on the first take. Half the time, if we screw it up, you'll never know. 
right? So that is a two person job because one person is actually running your teleprompter and then the other person is doing the acting. And the other thing, which I'm so glad you pointed this out, Cody, because I would have messed up a couple takes is you actually want to hold your flip cam upright like this because if it's on the side, your video is going to be all Yeah, it's up hard to get the video to turn over. So yeah. that's just a little uh, trick. By the way, keep it upright. Just prop it up on some books, set it up there, do something like that. So you got your materials, which is important, right? You got, <laughs> you got your, you got your uh, camera and you got your teleprompter and you got your script. Those are pretty much the materials that we're going to need in order to create our first video. All right. Then the next step is to can the video and export it using your little flip or however you do it, put it onto your desktop and save the video file okay, as the keyword phrase that you want to go for. Now, every single time, remember, I'm a, what am I doing right now? Putting on a hat. I'm putting on a hat. I'm putting on my marketing hat. Okay, And every single time I put my marketing hat on when I go to work. So every time I create any amount of content, whether it's a video or an article or a press release, I'm always thinking in terms of, what is somebody going to search for to find this piece of content that I'm putting out to the world? Yeah, and let me just jump in there because when I heard this, I was like, man, that's such a great point because a lot of people know, obviously, your description and your title, which we'll talk about in just a second, but the actual name of your file matters. You don't want it to be 001.mov or yep. something like that or video three. You don't want some nonsense. You actually want your keywords. And do you recommend using... Uh, Periods or underscores to break or dashes yeah. to break well, up no, words. No, I would just uh, you can use underscores. That's okay. fine. Um, but I would basically name the file whatever search phrase. Okay? So what do you Lo use? Localized search phrase. So in the instance, if I'm doing a video for uh, to j attract motivated sellers, I might put put as my video file type. We buy houses, Phoenix, Arizona. Right. That would be the name of my file type. So I would save that file onto my desktop as we underscore by underscore houses underscore phoenix underscore arizona okay so it's a localized medium keyword tail okay medium in length keyword phrase that i would actually be saving for and that's the keyword phrase that i'd be going for if somebody ever searches i want that my video to pop up for that particular phrase okay so step one is saving it on your desktop as the phrase that you're going for now at, at this point in the training if you're not familiar with search engine optimization or keyword phrases or how to do keyword research or any of that stuff, refer over to the search engine optimization training video to uh, get a little refresher. All right, so now that we have it exported and saved to our desktop, now it's time to log into our YouTube account. That was very good acting, by the way. Log into our YouTube account, upload the video into YouTube, and YouTube's gonna ask you, okay, how do you want to optimize this content, right? And it's gonna give you a couple of fields that you can uh, fill out. There's really four important characteristics that you wanna to add to this video to help optimize it. The first and the most important is the title of the video, okay? So it's probably gonna pull from the file name and throw that up in the title, okay? So it should already have We Buy Houses Phoenix, Arizona in there. The only thing I would add once you're at this stage in the game is to add a little dash at the end of it and your name, okay? So think of everything with my marketing hat on. If somebody searches for We Buy Houses Phoenix, Arizona, I want that video to come up. If somebody searches for Cody Sperber, I want that video to come up, okay? So I'm adding my name to the title to, so now that if for branding purposes, if anybody gets a postcard or a letter from me and they search my name, yeah. that video comes up, okay? And it's gonna be great street cred for me when you see a video online, okay, that has lots and lots of views that is really well polished, it's scripted, it sounds good, it gives out great content and great information. They're gonna immediately associate me with a professional and that's what I want. All right, so step one, title, okay? Step number two, is going to be, there's gonna give you the ability to modify the description. Inside that description, you're gonna to wanna to write one to two paragraphs of content about how you do whatever you're talking about you're doing on the video. So in this example, I'm talking about how I help homeowners sell quickly for cash. 